Pastor Dre O'Clock. It is so good to see you, each one of you. How many have been to Lucha before? And we have the family in Lucha. Which, we saw Al Riley, which is, what's the last name? Ladies, Hutchinson, Higgs, not sure. And how to run with your family? Bullets. Bullets? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. What's that? You want me to? We commemorate what day today? Friday. This is the most important day in your life. Yeah. If someone died for you, shouldn't you remember that? Would you die for your mother? You would? You would? But you know, God sent his only son down to earth to die for sinners like us. Because he knew we're going to need help to get back to his kingdom. Because when Adam was in the garden, Adam let the woman. Let me say it again. Adam let the woman outsmarted. Because God gave Adam the instructions. The serpent came along and fooled the woman. And the woman turned out fooled the man. And when God came, everybody put in the blame. The woman said, Adam said, you gave me this woman. I was doing good and then you sent this woman here. And the woman said, the serpent, right? And sin came into the earth. Because God has come on the cool of the day and just walk around and fellowship and laugh and talk with Adam and Eve. But they lost all of that. Because of what? Sin. sin. Right. And because of mankind, sin continue on. Even though you hear when you're born, you're born in sin. You say you're born in sin, in the shape of iniquity. That's why when Mary had the child, it couldn't be, she couldn't sleep with no man. So the, the man's DNA wouldn't go into her. And that, uh, the influence of sin would enter Jesus' body. So she had to be pure. But I'm here tonight, I don't know, see you all are very, very young. Go ahead. Yeah, she was a sinner, but then she was, her, her body was still was pure. She didn't defile her body. Okay. I grew up in this little town called Hatchet Bay. Hatchet Bay used to feed the entire Bahamas. Chicken, eggs, milks, groceries, everything. But after the Harrisville Company, it's a company named Harrisville Company, came from the United States, they moved out. And the government purchased the farm. Unfortunately, things didn't wake up at the planet. But God still sustained us because we had some people who were determined to make it. And there was some young man who came from Hatchet Bay. Some went onto the police force, some went onto the defense force. But before you could do that, you got to keep yourself free from drugs. Because when the police and the defense force come recruiting, and if you have drugs in the system, you're not going to be able to join the defense force or the police force. But I was one of those men in 1979. I ran off to join the defense force. I was the first person from Elutra to join the defense force. And it was sometime in May, they had a by-election in Elutra. And James Nutri, he won that election. And we were there on a peacekeeping mission on the boat call of Flamingo. Anybody ever this boat call of Flamingo? 
Can you do You say you know about the boy called the flamingo? Tell me about it. The boat is known as RVDF Flamingo. It's like a it's like a boat in the defense force that carries like the military gun.